inviting Thank me to you. cook with you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It's me, Shivani, CEO of Fusionary Formulas. I have with me today a very special guest. Her name's Chef Arya Kagan, and she's gonna be sharing with us some recipes and some great ways to eat healthier. As you know, here at Fusionary Formulas, we are all about living our healthiest life. And so I share so much through modern Ayurveda and through Fusionary about taking your supplements and working out and, and staying your healthiest self. And when I was speaking to Arya the other day, I shared with her that I hate quinoa. I just I hate, hate it. it. Who hates quinoa? <laughs> Shivani hates quinoa. I hate quinoa because I think it's gross. <laughs> um, the way it's prepared in my home, it always tastes burnt or smoked, and I couldn't get it tasting like anything really good. So I've just been having white rice with my Indian food and all my other dishes. So I'm very excited that she came today to show us how to take this healthy um, dish and make it even better and even yummier so we can use it throughout our day. Yes, and that was, when you told me you hated quinoa, I was like, well, this is a challenge. I'm up for hundred nice. percent nice. because I think sometimes people do eat foods once upon a time yeah. like cilantro and they're like oh my god I hate it because of the way that it was prepared or the way it was seasoned or the way that it was done and really at the end of the day as long as you can do things in a flavorful way right. and just learn how to do it correctly yeah that is half your battle true and I was sharing half your battle. Battle. we need to have variety like we need to have variety in our diets yes. it's not good to have this whole long list called Foods You're Unwilling to Eat. So Aria, please tell us about yourself a little bit. Okay, well, my name is Aria, and I own a company called um, Kitchen Pharmacy, which is a very exciting, it's, it's a great time to be in the food industry. I was a chef for many, many, many years. I went to the CIA, I learned texture and flavor and how to prepare foods. And as I moved along in my culinary career, more people were hiring me because they had Food challenges or health challenges and so I went back to school about two years ago to get my degree from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition and from there I was able to learn what food does to your body yes so it wasn't just a texture flavor thing it was also okay so what do these things actually do in your body and that to me like blew my mind I'm like really Really, quinoa does that inside your body? That's fantastic. And quinoa being such a flavorful, um, uh, a, a flavorful seed. It's a seed, not a grain. So people that can have it if they're if they're gluten intolerant, yeah. if they're going through where they want to reduce their carbohydrate intake, where they need more protein, um, they're plant based. This is a great plant based protein, and it it lends itself beautifully to so many different flavors. Right because it's truly a blank canvas. So, when you make quinoa, my best suggestion is to take one cup of quinoa, and we have a couple different quinoas here. There's a, uh, a white, always get organic. I would say that's the one thing because this is a seed, and if it's sprayed with pesticides and herbicides, you don't wanna actually ingest that. So, number one rule, get it organic. Um, it's not very expensive. There's there's white, there's red, there's black, there's this tri-color, which is really fun. And you take a cup of quinoa and you add a cup and a quarter of water, bring that to a simmer. You can add a little bit of salt if you're interested. Salt is great if you get a good quality salt, like a pink Himalayan sea um, salt or a, a Celtic sea salt. These salts have vitamins and minerals, so it's kind of like, kind of like, a buy one get one free like you go in for a little salt but you're also getting minerals yeah. or like a that's true. you know there's benefits to every single spice and salt that we use absolutely and I think and that's so beautiful with Ayurveda is that you're adding spices right and it's doing wonderful things to your body so you take a cup like I said a cup of quinoa a cup and a quarter of water bring that to a simmer you can add a little good salt if you want cover it and I stick everything in the oven not everything most things in the oven. So quinoa is one of those great things because if you're getting that like smoky burnt flavor, yeah. it's probably because you're burning it. Yeah. So you can stick it in the oven for like 15 minutes and it comes out perfect. You bring the quinoa out of the oven, you take the top off with a pot holder, remember it, everything is hot, and then you just take a fork and fluff it. And from there, anything can happen. So breakfast. If you want to have a good, healthy, well-rounded breakfast, mm -hmm. this is about 
about a half a cup of cooked quinoa. And then what we did was just warmed up some almond milk with cinnamon. You can add cardamom to it. Um, there's a little vanilla. And we're just gonna pour that right on top, about a half a cup. If you want a little crunch, these are just some chopped pistachios. You can add that to the top, and that adds a nice little crunch. This looks so good. I know, right? I know, I'm getting hungry. I know. Oh my God. Okay, sweetness. If you want to have it a little sweet, there's nothing wrong with a little sweetness. Raw honey is the, in my opinion, the best sweetener because again, there's vitamins, there's minerals. It's like, I mean, you really can't go wrong. It's so good for you. With raw honey. As long as you don't cook it. If you don't, if you don't, just don't heat it up. So you're gonna add it towards the end. Look, Siobhan even has the comb in it. It's like, it's beautiful. It's, it's truly the most local honey. So oh my gosh. good for you for allergies. I have it all day with my green tea. It's so oh my good, Siobhan. This is delicious. It is. Hanging out with a chef is like the most fun thing <laughs> one can do. Oh my god. <laughs> so yummy. So, Show them what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna. Do a little like pinch of cinnamon on top because again, cinnamon is great for your metabolism. Yes, we have cinnamon in our carb control because it's so good for you. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it's you know circulation, everything. Can it, can you see that? Oh, can you smell that? Oh my goodness. Okay, now I need you to taste it. It's, it looks like dessert there for you breakfast. Go. It is. It is kind of like dessert for breakfast, but it's again you have your protein, you have almond milk. Make sure you get almond milk that doesn't have any added fillers and junk in it. Do you like it? Yeah, this is so much more fun than the oats I eat for breakfast. <laughs> and it's full of protein. Wow. Make sure, yeah, almond milk. Make sure you get an almond milk that doesn't have any sugar added to it. A plain almond milk. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do another class on how to make your own almond milk because yes. that's really, really fun. Yes. Um, you know, the, the additives and preservatives. Make sure it's as clean as you can find it. And again, you're just warming it up on the stove with cinnamon. You can even add, if you, you can, can't you open up a capsule at the very end? Yes. You can, you can open up a, a capsule of, of, of turmeric gold at the very end. Yes. And that would be, oh my gosh, you get a golden quinoa. Ooh. That's, that's a, a totally idea. another, that's another show. Oh, that's oh my God, that would be great, right? I like it, yeah. I like that. I love that idea. Okay, yeah. we digress. I know. Okay. So yeah, we could talk for hours. Um, okay, so then let's say you're moving into dinner and you have this pot of quinoa that's just plain right now. One of my favorite things to do with quinoa, just again, to add flavor, if you just add lemon to it, it's fantastic. Lemon and a little olive oil, but what we did it a little fancier. Yeah. Yes, we did. I so, agree. and it's really, it's fancy, but it took me all of... Like two, three minutes. Nothing. Yeah. Take a couple basil leaves. You can chop them, you can rip them with your fingers, and you're adding that to the quinoa. There's some apricots, some dried apricots, and you don't need a lot. Chop them small, and you add that to the quinoa. Lemon zest, where's my little zester? Lemon zest, squeeze of lemon, a little bit of good olive oil, and you have such a flavorful side dish. And so it's not just plain quinoa. Yeah. Now it's like quinoa. Yeah. I tried it. It's amazing. So quinoa, asparagus. And again, you want to fill your plate up. Like three quarters of your plate should be filled with vegetables. Green vegetables, even better. Mm -hmm. Asparagus is fantastic. And then we just roasted up some tofu in the oven and put on a little ch uh, chili garlic. And again, you have spicy, sweet, acidity. Yes. What am I missing? Astringent. Astringent. Yeah, all the flavors. You have everything. In Ayurveda, we teach it's good to have all the flavors on the plate. I try not to, I don't share that with everyone because I feel like it'll overwhelm them. But if you think about it, if you could make a dish like this, you've covered a couple of different flavors, it didn't taste all like one thing. Right. Which is perfect. Right. And it's fun. And it's really simple because, again, if you have your quinoa already cooked in its simple form, adding anything to it, right. it goes one, two, three. True. And it's really, it's, it's, high in protein, vitamins, minerals, so many really, really good things. Yeah. There you go. And I had no idea it was so fast. Like, that's very easy. Cook a batch of quinoa, keep it in the fridge, preferably in glass, mm -hmm. keep it in there, and just use it in different ways. Use it for your breakfast, use it for a quick lunch. 
Right. I mean, just flavoring it up with lemon and salt and a few other things was easy. Easy. That's fantastic. Easy. And that's what cooking should be. Yeah. You know, you don't have to overcomplicate things and make it into like, oh my God, it's like a food network. Like, oh, I have to, you know, have 20 different ingredients. If you keep things simple mm -hmm. and you get the best ingredients, you don't need a lot of them. Right. And it feels really good. And your body's like, thank you. And what's great is when Aria came, she also did this quickly, but she showed me that you could do tofu and asparagus in the oven at the same time. There's so many things you can do in the oven at the exact same time yes. so that your cooking goes a lot faster. You can even stick it all in the oven, your quinoa, your tofu, and your asparagus in the oven. And you can, if you have kids, you sit down and read them a book for 20 minutes while everything's cooking. Right. Or if you're in our self-care rituals that we've been teaching, do your self-care for yourself. There you go. 20 minutes of freedom. So yeah, I love it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming. This was awesome. So we hope we've shown you something easy and healthy that you can incorporate into your day every day. And of course, we encourage you to use as many spices as you'd like. We have turmeric and all these spices here um, that we were incorporating in. So there's always a great way to incorporate spices, such as cinnamon, chili, all of it. So thank you guys. This is me, Shivani from Fusionary Formulas. Aria from Kitchen Pharmacy. We're signing off. Have a great day. Until next time.